Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Brave browser. So let's get started. So Brave is a new browser that incorporates a cryptocurrency called the Basic Attention Token. And using this cryptocurrency, this utility cryptocurrency, it allows advertisers, viewers, and content creators to reward each other uh, for the use of the browser. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to earn a little bit of rewards. And if you're a content creator, how to earn some actual money using the Brave browser. I'm going to show you how to do it. So stick around. Okay, so if you want to get a hold of the Brave browser right now, I've got an affiliate link in the description below. Just run down there, uh, click the link, and download the Brave browser. And they'll kind of explain to you what the Brave browser is. But I really like this graphic here. Uh, this kind of puts it all in a nutshell. Uh, you are not a product, which basically uh, we are. Uh, to the uh, large browsers and uh, social media sites. You know, when they give you all this free stuff, they're not the product, right? When you use uh, Edge or Internet Explorer or Chrome, uh, that's really not the product. You're the product. They want your information. So I love this graphic where she's got the Brave uh, logo on her hat and the other people there are, you know, in their little gray worlds with these barcodes on their heads, right? So uh, you just click download Brave and choose your platform. Uh, they've got Windows uh, 7 uh, Plus, 64 and 32, Mac OS, and uh, Linux. All right. So you'll just click download and it's going to drop the installer on your desktop and you just basically run the installer. It's that simple. Yeah, you'll, you'll end up on that page. But I like to set mine up a little bit different. So the first thing I'll mention to you is that you can go into settings. They have a nice settings. You've got a, it's a really versatile browser, uh, very advanced. So uh, the first thing I chose to, to change was instead of Brave starts with the home page, I chose uh, starts with a new tab. So I think that's pretty cool. The new tab page uh, is very beautiful and it gives you some of your uh, favorite websites and it tells you how many trackers and ads that it has blocked um, since you've been using the browser so and the amount of time that you've saved so the idea here is that it's blocking trackers and it's blocking ads so I think most people these days are running ad blockers on their web browsers uh, that adds a level of complexity um, and uh, it tends to slow things down and some of the uh, ad blockers are actually allowing some ads through and tracking you so uh, the Brave browser is built from the ground up to block ads and trackers so it's what it was built to do now of course the first thing you'll want to do is bring in your uh, bookmarks from your old browser and that's really simple to do you can do it from up here in the hamburger menu just go down here to bookmarks and choose uh, import browser data right you'll get that uh, you can also do it in the general settings uh, of the browser or using the import now same window so it can bring in your favorites and your bookmarks from Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer uh, Mozilla Firefox or Chrome so it recognizes all the major browsers out there and can bring in all of your uh, settings that you need right so that makes life easy because uh, most of us have a whole repertoire of uh, links and uh, saved websites that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis now here's the interesting thing about the Brave browser. If you're blocking ads and if you've used ad blockers before, you'll notice that some websites, uh, when you go on there, they'll recognize that you have an ad blocker on there. And they'll uh, either they'll refuse to let you use the website. Uh, some of these big names will just tell you, eh, you can't even browse content on our page because you've got ad blockers on. 
So uh, it's like a constant fight. Uh, or if they're a smaller website, they might say something like, hey, we, we depend on ad revenue, so we're asking you nicely to disable your ad blocker. So this whole ad blocker idea is sort of running into all kinds of roadblocks. The way Brave has solved this is that they have a whole ecosystem and they've created the basic attention token. Now the basic attention token is a cryptocurrency but it's a utility cryptocurrency. It's not really uh, used as a straight up currency because you can't spend it on normal things. You can't, uh, people don't accept BAT on their websites and things like that. You can't buy clothes with it or electronics but you can use it within the Brave browser. And here's how it works. You have a little budget of uh, basic attention token. And in this case, uh, my budget is 15 bat, which is about four bucks a month, that I am willing to spend to support content creators who are relying on uh, ad revenue. So instead of ad revenue, they're getting paid in uh, tokens directly by the Brave browser. Now, those tokens that uh, are, uh, they, they get those tokens directly and they can cash out those tokens uh, on a cryptocurrency exchange by just transferring them over and selling them for Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever they wanna do. Now, the tokens that you transfer into your Brave payments wallet uh, this is a one-way wallet, okay? You can buy BAT tokens on a cryptocurrency exchange and transfer them into this wallet, uh, but you would just basically use them to pay other people uh, in BAT that you like to support, okay? It's not a two-way wallet. Once you put BAT in there, you can't withdraw it out. So I would like to point out that all of these payments that go to the uh, content creators and publishers that I view uh, are anonymous. Uh, so they're basically, uh, uh, if you just leave them at defaults, the payments are made based on the amount of time that you spend viewing each site. And the payments are made anonymously. So the publishers have no idea who is paying them and uh, all of your reading and viewing habits remain uh, private. So uh, the Brave browser and the uh, BAT token uh, blockchain basically handle all of these transactions, uh, allowing the publishers to get paid and the readers to contribute uh, without there being any uh, identifying information going back and forth. And so that's pretty cool. I mean, you can see who your uh, uh, donating to and you can adjust that if you want to but the publishers have no idea who's paying them so your identity is kept safe and secure in this uh, basic attention token ecosystem mm -hmm. so as you can see I've got uh, quite a few uh, content creators that uh, I'm donating back to and this is just kind of automatic based on the amount of time that I spend on their respective websites and so uh, I can change my monthly budget if I want to say donate uh, a total of five dollars a month or even more uh, that's totally up to me I can even pin a content creator like say crypto lark so I can pin him up here at the top and then I can even edit this field in order to give him a larger percentage of bat tokens like do 10 right so uh, you can uh, manually adjust the amount of your contributions. So that's uh, one way of you giving back to uh, the content creators that you enjoy doing. And it's not costing you a whole lot of money and it's much better than having to view ads uh, for that you don't have any interest in that are just uh, interrupting your web browsing experience and also being tracked by all these trackers. So for this freedom, uh, you, you have the option of uh, giving back to support these content creators in this new ecosystem. So it's pretty cool.
Now, if you're a content creator and you want to get paid in bat, you simply have to go claim your site. So uh, let me show you how that works. Okay, so you go to this website and I'll put a link to this in uh, the description. This is basically for content creators that would like to claim tokens uh, that uh, are available uh, from people that are viewing their content within the Brave browser. So um, they'll show you how to get started. You just go over there, you put in your email and you join up. I'm already, uh, I'm already a member, so I'm going to log in. And they're gonna send me an email. And I'll log in there. And I'll enter my two-factor authentication, which I've set up. And choose verify. So uh, here on my Brave Payments page, you can see that I've claimed my YouTube channel. So people that go on uh, my YouTube channel that are using the Brave browser and have enabled contributions, uh, I get a little bit of revenue from them uh, over time. And uh, once I've got everything set up, those contributions will be deposited in my uh, BAT wallet. And then I can withdraw them and convert them into any way that I want. When you first arrive at this page, you will probably want to use this ad channel. And you can add your own, if you have your own website, you can uh, enable micropayments on your own website. Uh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can uh, do that as well. And a Twitch channel. Basically, uh, what you have to do is just confirm that you are indeed the content creator uh, for that site. And then it gets added to this list here, and you get uh, BAT tokens based on people that are browsing your content using the Brave browser. So it just sort of works in sort of uh, symbiosis. All right, and here's the page, uh, the website for the basic attention token, which kind of gives you an overview of how the basic attention token works. And here is the triad here. It's an interface between the user, the advertiser, and the publisher. So I've talked about user and publisher, how you can view content uh, and reward the publisher through Brave Browser. And I've talked about how the publisher can claim their rewards from the user, but I haven't really talked about how the advertiser fits into this. So if you go over here to your settings, and you'll want to go over here to shields. So if you go over here to your shield settings, you have the option of allowing some ads through. So we've got the default, which is block ads, and then you can also adjust this to show brave ads. And this is quality content that uh, Brave will uh, reward you for watching. So it's a way for you to get Brave tokens as a user or a viewer. And those Brave, those BAT tokens go into your wallet. And then you can use those tokens to reward the uh, content creators. So once again, as a user, you can get rewarded by watching ads with BAT tokens, but you can't really spend them on anything but uh, the publishers within the Brave ecosystem. Uh, the, the rewards that they give you uh, for watching ad content stay within the Brave ecosystem. So as a content creator, they will send them directly to you and you can cash out. But the Brave wallet in the browser for the user is a one-way wallet. You can get Brave tokens, but they have to be used uh, within Brave. I hope that's clear. Mm -hmm. Now there's also uh, quite a few other things you can uh, adjust in the Brave browser which is really nice like in security. Uh, you can make this a totally uh, privacy based uh, web browser by having it delete browsing history, download history, every, all of these options that can be erased uh, in between uses. So you basically leave no trace at all, even on your computer, of what you've been doing uh, while you've been browsing. 
that can be a little bit inconvenient. It's nice to have uh, some of your uh, data saved so that when you go to the sites, uh, you don't have to log in every single time. Now, another nice, really nice thing that I'll tell you about the Brave browser is uh, it has some built-in extensions for some of the top-tier password managers. I use 1Password and I have the support enabled uh, in Brave. So as you can see over here, I'm using the uh, 1Password and it works really well. So if I go to uh, a website where I need to log in, let's try Binance. Right, I can just go up here and uh, it shows Binance and I just click it and it auto fills for me. So, and it's a much more secure way of saving your passwords than having them stored within the browser, which is what Chrome does. It offers to let you store all of your passwords in its browser, but that file with all your logins and passwords is not really secure if your computer is ever compromised. So uh, Brave gives you the option of enabling the uh, much better encrypted password uh, management applications. It's all built in. If you look over here in extensions, you can see that they have a lot of built-in extensions that are already installed by default and you can just enable them or disable them. Uh, MetaMask is a great one that's included. You can just enable it and use that. And so uh, it's a very advanced browser. Uh, easy to use uh, on the surface but a lot of control under the hood and you've got this whole ecosystem where you're not getting tracked you're not getting ads in your face and at by the same token you can reward content creators that you enjoy watching with uh, a little bit of extra money that you may have in your pocket or uh, get rewarded with tokens by watching ads and then uh, donating back to the content creators that you like. So it's a great system. It uh, cuts out the middleman and it's all secured by a blockchain based cryptocurrency slash utility token called BAT or basic attention token. So I switched over to Brave. I really like it. It works really well. And then I'm going to give you one more way that you can get rewarded with BAT tokens and that is uh, using an affiliate link. Okay, so if you want to claim uh, more BAT rewards, you can uh, include an affiliate link in your YouTube channel or your website or your Twitch channel that uh, will allow people to click that link and download the Brave browser. And when they use your affiliate link to download the Brave browser, uh, Brave will reward you with about $5 worth of BAT tokens for each person that downloads the browser using your affiliate link. So that's just another way that you can claim free BAT token. And before I take off, I should also mention that BAT is a cryptocurrency that is traded on uh, a lot of the major exchanges and its price does fluctuate up and down. So uh, if you are claiming tokens as a content creator and just holding them in your BAT wallet, uh, the price of BAT may go up and uh, you may get a larger reward down the road than maybe what you're getting, what it looks like you're getting now. So uh, it's always good to uh, just have and hold different cryptocurrencies uh, because down the road uh, they could be worth a lot more or they could be nothing, but it's not going to cost you anything. So uh, if you can claim free tokens uh, just by jumping through a couple of hoops, uh, and not throwing out any cold hard cash. Uh, I'm all for that. So I'd like to remind you that I do have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, join me for the live Q&A uh, from LA and throw out any questions that you may have. I hope to see you there. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, you can uh, click the little bell there, which will allow you to be notified whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.